number that looks kooky, let me know and we'll adjust it. If My name is Kate Colton. I'm a production manager. I'm the associate production manager for Mark Tate Perform. So production management is the hub of information for getting um, a play from the rehearsal room to the stage. I often, in the simplest terms, like to think of it like my job is to make sure that I can create a place where people know when to show up, how to get together, what their job is, and how they're being paid so that they can make a piece of art. There are two types of days. There are many, many, many types of days, but there are two big columns. One is a day that we're in production. Uh, meaning that we're all working together in the theater, we're in the tech process or the preview process. I tend to get to the theater at around 7 or 7.30 so that I can look over the notes from the night before and get my head around what we're trying to address because usually we'll take the first four hours of the day with the crew working on stage doing notes and so I'm a facilitator for them. My job at that time is to make sure their day goes easier and that can be everything from sourcing or finding something that we need right then to getting people out of our loading dock if they've parked their cars there. It can be very banal and it can be very time sensitive and critical. And then when we're in tech, uh, I'm there again as a facilitator, as a support. Core part of production management is making sure that we're tracking properly on budget or if we're not, that we're telling the appropriate people so that they have an opportunity to make choices. That's what I'm doing when we're in theater in production. And then the other type of day I have is when the show is running. Then I don't tend to come to the theater. Then my job starts to look a lot like an administrative job. That's when I'm doing contracts. That's what I'm reaching out to designers to make sure that they understand what timeline they're on, that they're communicating with the director, that they're communicating with the shops and our technical direction staff. You're gonna do the job based on the, the way that you can make best use of your skill set and your natural um, aptitudes. I think there are some things that are very common. It's really important to be emotionally intelligent to be a production manager. You're managing in a lot of ways, supporting the quality of the space where artists are making art. And that's a delicate process. Diplomacy becomes a huge part of what I'm doing because you're always negotiating between people with different needs. I went to UCLA and so I worked on shows as an assistant uh, while I was there without really knowing what production management was. I just attached myself to the people who I saw doing things that made me curious. There are other ways to get there. You can go through a training program. Now, when I was a young production manager, there weren't as many robust training programs, educational programs as there are now. Um, it's just a different route. Everything in some ways seems like a big break to me. Every time I got the next show, because I was always a little bit out of my depth, it always felt huge. I started making my living primarily as a production manager, probably within three years of graduating school. I think that I had a permanent position as a production manager within five years of graduating school. But a lot of that is luck and grit and tenacity, uh, heavy on the luck. The best thing about my job is that I get to have very broad knowledge and I'm constantly exploring new solutions, new technology, I'm always learning. And also the best part of my job is that I get to work professionally with artists. I mean, come on. That's an incredible gift and I'm always conscious of what a gift that is.